Okay, so we're on to our third auto selection tab, which is range percentage. Um, so just a very quick refresher, what we're doing here is uh, each one of these tabs just describes certain criteria for selecting some of these hands into the groups. Uh, the first two tabs are based on uh, the value of the combinations. Uh, this one is slightly different and this selects um, a percentage of the range, uh, also based on hand value. So to use this, like the, all the others, we need to have put in a board, so let's just stick in a queen, ten, three, rainbow. and. Um, so yeah, we can select, for example, top uh, you know top 50% of the entire range, and click go. And what this does is it basically every single combination it works out uh, right now on the flop um, how strong this hand is. Uh, it ranks them by the best to the worst, and uh, then we select um, a percentage of that. So here we select the top 50%. You can see we've actually uh, selected because it's an odd number of combinations in this range, 49.9%, 437 combos have been selected, and this will be the strongest based on the hand value right now on the flop. So you can see we've obviously got all pairs and sets and two pair and stuff, um, and then you can see it starts selecting some ace highs, and it gets down to a7 suited, a6 suited, uh, a6 off, we've got a couple of combinations of ace5 off, and that's where it stops. So this is kind of roughly the cutoff for um, straight up uh, hand value here on the flop. Um, uh, we can also, you know, we can we could change this number. We could also do bottom. So this is quite useful for uh, balancing your own range. So basically, uh, say you are your check raised on the flop, and you think you want to fold the bottom 30% of hands. Um, this will start as a good guide. Now, what's important to note is this is just the hand value on the flop. It doesn't take into account uh, draw potential. And obviously, we might want to uh, select hands on this board not just purely by um, they hand value by also you know hands that have got uh, draws. So um, and you know we might fold, for example, a uh, uh, I don't know a jack high hand uh, would be a f hand that we would fold before you know stuff that might have a three flush. Um, so this isn't um, you know this might uh, work as a good guide, um, but it's not you know the final answer. You might need to uh, do some manual selection as well. Um, you can also, rather than just doing it by absolute hand value, you can do it by showdown equity. Um, and this will start taking to draws, but again, you do have to be careful. Uh, showdown equity works is you have to put in a uh, hero card, and then it does showdown equity against these hero cards. So let's say hero has stuff, something like, I don't know, bottom player, three of hearts, two of spades. Okay, we're just going to wait for these equities to calculate. Um, but so this will now select hands that have uh, showdown equity. So now it's going to start taking into account um, draw potential. So if we select, say, the top 50% of the complete range, um, here we're selecting some hands. We can just compare this to absolute hand value. Um, you can see when we do uh, showdown equity, um, it's including these hands which have uh, draw potential. You see we've got more suited hands here. Um, and we also have the uh, connected hands, the hands that make straight draws. These hands have more showdown value, you know, jack-9 suited. It's more showdown value than ace-9 because of the uh, potential to hit a straight. Um, so there are some card removal uh, effects you have to take into account. Uh, it's best to select a hero hand that um, doesn't affect the um, uh, dead cards too much. For example, if we had put in a hand like uh, ace-3, then aces are going to uh, not not be selected so much because there's less aces, aces in the board. So you want to select kind of a, a pretty dry hand to compare against. Um, so again, let's say we want to fold the bottom 30%. Um, here we're selecting hands that again we're, we're um, you can see the suited hands it selected. It selected the, the uh, two hearts because uh, the hearts don't have the uh, the three straight. Um, again, this is not uh, the final answer, um, it, but it, it might act as a good guide when you're uh, selecting your range. Um, another thing you can do is, rather than just doing it against the complete range, you can do it against uh, another group. So, let's for, say, for example, we select, um, let's just do by absolute, oh, let's, let's keep it shown and actually, you know, we can select the top 70% into group 1, and then we might go, okay, but what's uh, the top 30% of group one. So we've gone into group two and then we go to the top 30% of group one. And obviously we have to do overwrite here so that uh, they actually get selected because we're going to be overwriting the uh, uh, group one hands. So there you can see uh, group two we selected, um, uh, what was it, 30% uh, of group one have been kind of stolen from group one and put into group two. Um, so again, you, you can see how this might be useful for dividing up your range uh, based on, dividing up your own range based on kind of uh, game theory range balances.
So okay, that's range percent, range percentage. Last video, we're going to just quickly look at the other two tabs.